trying to hit a milestone today. I only need to find 10 more, and I'll be up to 1,300 Turn miles. left on Pittman Road, then turn right. I'm up to 1,290 right now, so I'm going to try and go to Vacaville and find 10, and get up to 1,300. So it'll be cool. I don't know why, but it seems like people choose right where caches are to uh, just sit there and do nothing. It's weird. See, because look. Uh, once it focuses, there's a... There's the road right there. And there's me. That one. The road. And there. Oh, they're leaving now. But anyway, that's the corner of the road. And that car was just parked. Right there, where the cache is. Kind of interesting that they're just sitting there. Unless maybe they were finding the cache too. But I don't know. Anyway, they're gone now, so I'm going to go for it. This one might be difficult. Somewhere in these rocks. And it's saying it's over this way. Somewhere around here should be a cache. So anyway, kind of cool, I guess. There's a road right there. Anyway, I'm gonna look. I got it. I've already signed it and put it back. It didn't take too long, actually. Uh, it hasn't been found since August of 2011. That was the last time it was found. And other people have tried since then and couldn't find it. So I was expecting a long search, but it was like the second or third place I looked, so not too bad. Taking a food break. I went to Subway for some lunch. And then I stopped here, because it was supposed to be a cache. And, um, but yeah, they've, uh, re-landscaped this area. It was, like, right there. That's where the coordinates tell me to go. To the corner of that little triangle. So I looked on Google Maps to see what used to be there. Because this is pretty recent. And Google Maps was showing bushes here. Like those. So, it's probably gone. About a week or two ago, I got a first to find out the same trail, except you couldn't see anything because it was nighttime and completely dark. So, it's a lot easier to see out there in the day, because before I couldn't tell where the rocks were or where anything was. I'll try, I'll find that video and I'll put it back so you can get a comparison. This is during the day and this is during the night. Anyway, it's a lot easier to see now. There's a couple other caches out here that I want to get though. So, I'll go get them. I found eight so far, I need two more. And right now I'm at the edge of this little lake. Pretty cool area. It's a very small lake. There's actually two. There's an island over there. It's hard to see from this angle. But there's two on it. And I'm not going to go over there right now. I only need to find two more to be up to 1300 though. Anyway, the walk path is right over there. And my truck is over there, so I'm gonna go back. See you later. I've tried for this one before, and I wasn't able to find it. But if I find it this time, it'll be number 1300. See, I have the GPS, but I'm not even using it. Because I know where it is. 
I mean, I know the general area. I don't know exactly where. I just know it's somewhere around here. Yeah, there's that hole. There's this tree. And it's somewhere around here. So, I guess I'll look then. I don't know what that says. Got it this time. A little guy. I don't know why I couldn't find it last time. This time I went right up to it. I don't know. Weird. Found it this time, so that's cool. Come back. And now we go home. 1300. Yay. And also, when it wins, uh, doors open up and everything falls onto these sensors and either blows up or turns into slime.